What's up, you two? It's shit, it's shit, it's shit, boy. Mr. Mr. Jackson, let us I managed to recover but a few crates of supplies. I'm glad to see you met with greater success. And repaired the cart as well. Oh, there's just the matter of the unfortunate scouts who fell to ambush. Hmm, neither did I. I suspect the corrupted marched the captives off to one of their work camps to the north. We can only hope their heart gems protected them and they have not fallen. We must attempt rescue. <laughs> I humbly acquiesce to your orders, Soul Warden. To be honest, it's a relief not to bear the burden of command. Nonetheless, if I reach the outpost and you do not follow soon, I will circle back. That you cannot prevent. Please, tell me you have a better plan than Yash. I don't doubt his enthusiasm. But his plan to rescue us got him caught, too. So I guess that's straightforward enough. I tried to run twice before, and they weren't too gentle bringing me back. For his hoping third time brings me luck. Now there is a face that renews my hope. Or did they capture you, too? Don't worry. I have a plan. Or I did. I hadn't expected them to have hounds. We might need a new plan. The way is clear. Amazing! I suppose this is why Jonas holds you in such high esteem. Well deserved, it seems. But I cannot leave without the others. I swore to them I would get them out of this mess. This sounds like an order. And you are, of course, a superior within the Wardens. So I will obey. Let it be known that I do so under protest, however. I should like to have aided in rescuing the others. Next time, I guess. We were told that the supply passage was secure, but the corrupted waited there in ambush. I saw that Jonas managed to fight his way out. Did he make it to the outpost? <sighs> Those are welcome tidings. I'd feared our time as Soul Wardens would be short-lived. Perhaps we have a chance against the Corrupted after all. When I saw Galahad coming up the road with those supplies, I couldn't believe it. And now, a rescue of our captured Wardens as well. <laughs> the outpost needed supplies and reinforcements, and now we have both. Yes. I deemed that was necessary, based on the reports from our scouts. Ominous activities are underway here. This new commander among the corrupted maneuvers with a confidence that only comes from an unbeatable strategy. Many of the corrupted's most elite units have been pulled back from the front lines and redeployed to protect other activities. This commander seems to be in pursuit of some secret within the ancient ruins. My thoughts exactly. And that is why I deem the capture of this outpost to be of critical importance. Securing this location has been priority, however. We haven't been able to investigate the commander's new efforts. A solid plan. Galahad and I will look at ways to secure a broader swath of the territory. Search the ruins to the south. Our scouts saw the commander's forces there. We need to know what they were doing. Our ranks swell, and now we call upon allies from beyond. Our victory is assured. Your arrival is well timed. Our scouts have just returned with excellent news. The forces of the Corrupted are vulnerable as they've spread out. Did you manage to discover what strategy this commander pursues? Beyond those already augmenting their ranks. I shudder to think of whatever demons might be at their disposal from beyond. 
It seems Jonas may have been right about the urgency of the situation after all. Our discovery may in fact be tied to what you learned in the ruins. We stumbled upon a massive mining operation in the canyon to the west. We assumed they sought more pure Azoth, but this operation is too large. Yes, the sooner we can dismantle their efforts, the better. There is only one fortification protecting their work in the canyon. It is formidable and cannot be avoided. As mad as it sounds, that seems to be the best gamble. Jonas has gone ahead to assess the fort's vulnerabilities. I can stay to keep the outpost secure. You should join Jonas in the canyon and formulate a plan of attack. Whatever this new commander of the Corrupted is plotting, we may have the chance to put an end to it here and now. The commander is here in the Sunderford. It seems he goes by the name of Thorp. Ah, a story begins to unfold. The fact he is a new leader among the Corrupted, it makes sense. While you have worked to become a Soul Warden and defend against corruption, your captain has taken a much darker path. There are moments of coincidence and moments that are not. I believe this is the latter. I have urged you against charging into danger, but you've never been one for caution. Go on then, and light be with you. Here I come full circle, from laboring in the mines on behalf of our mistress to now being in command of the entire operation. I shall bring new purpose to this enterprise as well. To the mistress, the motes of that infernal Azoth, but to me, the materials to construct the designs of the ancients. History will be made here in Great Cleave. The mistress is displeased at the fact we found so little of the pure Azoth she seeks. But when I shared of our accomplishments towards my plan, I could see that I have once again proved to her that I am the one who can deliver this victory. She's wisely committed even more of our forces to the cause. The ore flows like a river up to the summit. I will soon bask in the glory of my success. Isabella has now become extremely interested in our enterprise here at Great Cleave. And where I hoped to only construct a handful of the fell portals, she has expanded the plan to include many more. The final stonework for our first structure at the summit nears completion. And I will now leave this operation to my lieutenants and descend to ensure the rituals are planned to perfection. The strength and pride I feel for this work makes up for whatever regrets I may have for my time in the old world. This was my destiny all along. Neither duty nor divine purpose called me from the old world. I sailed into oblivion as master of my own destiny, fearless in my command. And I found here that which I sought, the truth of power, to which I proudly swore my eternal allegiance. I began anew, authority and identity stripped away. Embracing inhuman toil and suffering as the path to my return. Time came when I could again prove my prowess in battle. No man nor demon could withstand my newfound might. My domination established, a new destiny earned. The voice of truth pronounced me as champion of our righteous cause. And I led our armies to victory again and again. 
The remnants of ragged humanity crushed along the way. To bring me here, to the precipice of my ultimate achievement. The forces of this world and those beyond. Now under my command. I was your captain once, until you betrayed me on the beach. Now I have one final order. Walk away. Disobey me, and you will be destroyed. You charged into the fort and against a small army, and now you return unscathed. That alone is quite a feat. But what of your former captain? This Commander Thorpe, was he there? Did you confront him? Hmm. I wonder if he has departed to oversee some other aspect of the operation. With all this all they've mined, they must be taking it somewhere. Do we know to what end all this work is being done? I see. As I recall, there were some true demons among the corrupted in the last war. We often pondered their origins, but these were few and far between. If Commander Thorpe summoned an army, our course would be lost. If Commander Thorpe is constructing some portal into hell, we should move quickly to discover where this infernal thing is being built. But we must shut down this mine first. We should summon more wardens from the outpost. Ah, you're as bullheaded now as the day I met you. But my strength is renewed, and I will not stand idly by. One of us should attempt to track where the ore carts are going, while the other disables the mine. Very well. I'll leave the brute force tasks to you. For the moment, at least. We've scouted the East Road, so the ore must be going west. Destroy the mining operation, and then look for me on the mountain road. Good luck. I heard the fire of cannons, and hoped that had been something you did, rather than something aimed at you. Since you are standing before me, I'm guessing the mission was a success. That's at least one piece of good news. Only this far. The Corrupted are now maneuvering against us. They've fortified their defenses on the bridge to the Western Rim. Their cuts are, or were, ferrying ore across. So that's where the trail leads. It seems Galahad sent Warren Yush across to scout another outpost. With the bridge now reinforced, he is cut off. Galahad's poor judgment aside, I'm worried. Yash has heroic aspirations, but not enough experience. Yes, I am prepared to make the assault whenever you are, but speak to Galahad first and at least hear out the Bright Knight's plan. Though I wish he had conferred with us first. I admit that his reasoning is sound. <laughs> I know Jonas is displeased with my decision to scout the Western Outpost, but I stand by it. We have a chance to establish a foothold in this region, and we should make an effort to take advantage of it. And I have no intention of backing down on the plan. I obviously did not intend for Yash to be cut off, but I stand ready to make amends. Lead the charge across the bridge, Soul Warden. Jonas and I will follow. You ride like the wind, stranger. I admit I did not expect to lose, c'est la vie. I have heard tales of Rangian knights astride great wolves. Can you imagine such a thing? Find them, and perhaps you can learn their secret. Remember to watch your step around the Varangian. That order has a strict set of ethics, and you never know what might set them off. If you'd like to continue your training, that's exactly what you need to do. I've dealt with this Frangian before. Valencia Isnov is her name. She and I didn't part ways on them. 
best of terms. But she's different than others like her. Like I said, mind yourself and find a way to earn her trust. Do that, and she may show you what she knows about riding. Or she might try to run you through. I really was never sure with her. Good luck. Last time I saw her, Valencia was up in Great Cleave. I can promise she's still there, but that is your best bet. Aha! I was hoping to run into you. Well, Commander Jonas, really, but you'll do. On Galahad's orders, I've scouted the outpost up the hill. The corrupted blocked the road, but it appears to be a secure location. Not the outpost, but they patrol it from the nearby forts. We'll need to put those forts on the defensive. I was working myself up to stage an attack alone, but I think your presence improves the chances of success. Oh, well, there are just a few corrupted on the road. The forts are where the action is, but... All right, I realize you may be better suited. I'll wait until you make your move, and then I'll clear the way to the outpost. Please tell me they have seen visions of the realm of corruption. And though a hellscape it may be, I've come to see the truth of the Tempest's faith. She says this is the birthright humanity was denied at the dawn of time. That the ancients here expelled us and granted the false mythologies in our minds. The so-called corruption is not some fiendish terror, but rather the gift of Godhead that we will now share across this island and across the earth. The time of confluence draws near. The portals are almost done. They have been placed all around the heights and shall turn the land red with their glow. Glorious. A triumph of engineering and skill, of conquest and battle. We shall bring forth reinforcements that this land has never seen. At the highest point to the west shall we rise, and our power will flow out across the land in a crimson wave. Never again will we be lost, for we are united in our purpose. This outpost is beyond the scope of what we planned, but I believe it will yield great value in our longer campaign against the Corrupted. If your attacks on the nearby forts were successful, I believe we are secure here. We left some wardens to maintain the eastern outpost, but brought most of the others here. Warden Yash was quite proud to be the one to secure the location. <laughs> it seems he never even realized he had become cut off. He's gone off with Jonas, and you should follow with haste. The ore trail leads up into the ancient ruins on the western peaks. It's clear that this Commander Thorpe is constructing his evil portals up there. Yes, you know how stubborn Jonas can be. And as his vigor has increased, so has his thirst for battle. I fear the old man could get himself and the other wardens in over their heads. You should catch up as soon as possible. Blast it all! I am sorry, young one. I hope to share some of the burden that has been so unevenly put on you. Galahad urged patience, and he was right. I fear I've led our fellow wardens into danger once again. We fought valiantly, 
had managed to destroy some of the portals, but the Corrupted sent reinforcements and we were overwhelmed. A few of us managed to escape, but others have once again become captured. Yes, but Warden Yash places too much faith in me, I fear. He escaped as well, and ranges ahead to assess the enemy position. So charge on, rescue those captured, find Yash, and let's get to the peak. I'll be right behind you. Our heart gems. They are not strong enough up here. Several wardens have succumbed to corruption. I'm afraid. If we push on, will we all share their fate? With you here, my hopes are renewed. We can't allow them to take any more captives. Our strength lies in the trust we have with our team. When I saw the Azals fall, it just sapped the last hope from me. I can't fight my former friends. I would rather give up. Tell me you understand. Yes, yes, you're right. I must stand firm against the Fallen, even if they were dear friends. We must defeat them to protect those of us who remain. You defied my orders. This is the price you pay. The gate opens to welcome our allies from beyond, and with them, your doom. Well, we made it here at least. Jonas was determined you wouldn't face this alone. He outran me. But with that portal open, we may be too late. It would seem that any moment now, an army of demons will spew forth. Perhaps on the other side, but... I mean, I consider myself brave. But that would seem to be venturing into the literal gates of hell. And what? We leave Commander Thorpe to continue his campaign here? I... Is that our only choice? Very well. I think Jonas needs a moment. But I will get the others and we will give chase. I bow to your sacrifice, Warden, and your courage. If you do return, come after us. I can't believe I doubted you for even a second. But that portal... I shudder to think of what you may have witnessed in there. There is no time to hear your account, however. Commander Thorpe is calling for reinforcements. While Yash was scouting enemy positions, I have considered and decided how we will do this. We will stay here and hold the line against the hordes as long as we can to buy you time to defeat Commander Thorpe. I will not tolerate your bullheaded arguments this time. I'm ordering you to go south and attack Thorpe's camp before reinforcements arrive. We've all agreed on this course, and we are ready to make our stand. Godspeed to you as well, my valiant friend. You've brought this old man back from the dead. I'm more than willing to make this sacrifice, and fear not. I will send the others away before we are overrun. Go now, and quickly! Quickly! 